Swiss Contact, a non-profit organization, was established with the goal of reducing unemployment and improving the livelihoods of refugees, smallholder farmers, medium and small enterprises, and youth. With over 25 years of operation in Uganda, the organization has positively impacted refugees in Valley refugee settlement by providing them with training in good farming practices and supplying necessary equipment. They provided to us with good seeds of good quality. Now people changed from planting the bad seeds they have been planting, now they are practicing to plant the good seeds which provide us with good yields. Uh, currently I have eight cages. Each cage is stocked with 5,000 fingerlings. That alone is approximately or even worth 40 million Ugandan shillings at harvest. The organization has also played a crucial role in developing and implementing projects addressing pressing issues in various government ministries. I think jobs and opportunities and increasing incomes for youth, women, refugees, smallholder farmers uh, to the tune of over 13 million Swiss francs over the last eight years, uh, to say the least. Uh, on top of that, we have been able to uh, mobilize about 14 million Swiss francs from private sector uh, investors and other entrepreneurs to be able to create jobs, opportunities and increase incomes for our target groups. Youth have been equipped with entrepreneurial skills to enable them penetrate international markets. We've conducted several business missions uh, out of Uganda. So we, we get our members, PSFU members, we get them, we connect with the equivalent of PSFU, say in DRC, and then we go with them to the DRC and then have business to business engagements. They are also government to government engagements because government has to negotiate with you know, the other government about any non-tariff barriers. However, beneficiaries expressed the need for the government to introduce equipment used in making fish feed, which they claim is expensive to purchase. And we have enough materials here in Uganda to make our own feeds, but we lack what we call the machines. So I really uh, ask the government to come and train these people how to make feeds and provide the machines. Mary Namkose, UBC News.